everybody, welcome back to Oscar Buzz Trevor here, joined as always by Thomas. And today we have something that is very, very exciting. We're talking gold derby polls. We all. Uh, I'm very hyped for this. Gold derby, I mean, just like a big signifier in the awards world of what's big, what isn't. Um, it can tell us a lot. It's it's just mass yeah. polls open open to all people within the awards space to vote, uh, and we can we can really see what people are are, are looking at. I, uh, I'm curious to see where everything everywhere all at once is particularly. Yeah, I mean I'm actually will be quite high at the moment considering it is one of the more major players that has been released at this point. A lot of films, obviously, yeah. towards it that are going to be in Oscar contention don't get released until later in the year. But everything everywhere all at once been out for a couple of months now. People yeah. still love it. Still, we're going to see it and stuff like that. So, I think yeah, I would imagine they're quite high. Yeah, I think it's definitely in picture, like for sure. Yeah. At the Oscars. But no, it's crazy. Like, I mean, obviously, Gold Derby had stuff like Tried to Theme, Beth and House of Gucci, really high, Nightmare Alley, but yeah. like, who didn't? But they also predicted Coda, like with their early polls. I was looking back through like their like first polls, uh, day one last year, and like they had Coda in. So, like, yeah. they do call some stuff. Um, all right, I'm ready to jump into it. It's the top eight categories that are polled. Okay, okay. Makes no, sense, yeah. Be a bit weird to do some other stuff right yeah. now, but yeah. I mean, we do it, so, you know. Yeah. All right, best picture. Here we go. Our first look. And we have Fableman's at number one. Okay. Okay. I'm not too surprised Babylon. by that. So, so Fableman's, Babylon, and Killers. Top three. top three. Yeah. Yep. And then Everything Everywhere, and then The Sun. Okay, The Sun high. I mean, I probably have it at six currently, so. That, that, I mean, that's fair in opposition, yeah. Not too surprised to see Everything Everywhere all at once. That high, like I sort of expected it to be number four behind, obviously the the big three. Interesting, yeah, Fablemans is above Babylon and Killers for Moon, though. That is that is interesting. Yeah, people having faith in Fablemans, which is really interesting because it's it's the out of the big three you can like. So it's the least predicted of the big three, but it's the most uh, for a nomination, but it's the most predicted to win by far. Yeah. So very interesting, very interesting indeed. Yeah, everything ever makes sense. The sun. What do we have next? Bardo at number six. Bardo at number six. Okay. 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 Okay, number seven is She Said. People wow. are confident in She Said. I'm not that, I don't know. I'm yeah. really not that sure about She Said. I don't know what nominations it picks up other than like Greenplay and then one, maybe two acting noms. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I guess that's enough to get into picture, but like this year it feels way too stacked for a movie like She Said. Yeah, exactly. And let's also not forget what the premise of the film is. You know, it's it's about Harvey Weinstein. So there, there are a lot of people in the industry still who you know, were friendly with him and whatever, and worked yeah. with him, so, you know, it may not be received the best, it might be quite a divisive film about, among Oscar Academy voters. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, uh, that is the truth of it. Number eight? Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, I was looking on Twitter, people are, uh, I, I saw the Oscar expert w slid this into his top ten, because, like, justification being, like, it's going to be one of the biggest box office successes of the year. Critics love it. It's got like a 99 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's going to be winning sound, and it's probably going to get an editing nom along with that. Like, it, it's it, along with like a, a song win also. Like, yeah. I mean, we, we talked about this. Like, it was one of our most nominated movies, and that both of us felt kind of weird leaving it out. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, still a little reluctant to to put a film like Top Gun Maverick into a Best Picture lineup, but I mean, it's probably with some things that have been pushed back and stuff like that. Yeah. It's it's definitely up there. It's in contention. It's easily top 15. It's easily yeah, top 15. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, number eight on Gold Derby, that's that's wild. Number nine is Women Talking, my first, okay. my, my Best Picture winner so far. So, still in. Number 10 is Poor, okay, so that's... Yeah, that got pushed. Not happening. That's... So, yeah. Uh, the Wooden <laughs> King. Okay, my cat. It's an interesting choice. I just, I don't know. I just see it as yeah. like this, like, as an action. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's Empire of Light? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it's just not on people's radars, really. So if we... Mendez. I know. Wait, if we scroll down, it might be... Moment. Yeah. I'd be what more happy, actions? probably, if it wasn't on there at all, to be honest, at this point. Because then that does show that yeah. maybe it's just not a thing people have really heard of yet. If it's on there, like, what? It's... Yeah. That's a bit worrying. Also, isn't concern or it isn't it isn't confirmed for a 2023 date i think yeah is another thing i don't know how much we want to maybe it just isn't 2023 or maybe it's yeah 2023 i mean but, if it is though search i have what nothing this year outside of they've got the banshee the virinchin and that's that'd be it because all of their stuff that are seemingly their push? yeah well if all of their stuff is being pushed that's yeah right 
Because, yeah, women talking, in, or, yeah, not, not women talking, uh, poor things and uh, next goal wins are both, yeah. I mean, not confirmed for 2023, but like, but basically, yeah, yeah. we know, yeah, the word that is 2023, so that's really interesting. Uh, what else do we have in here? Avatar The Way of Water coming in, okay. In 12. I expect it to be there somewhere, it's, it's a little high, it's a little high for me, but you know, till, till. look how high till is. Feels high, yeah. That's very high. Elvis at number 14. Okay. Also interesting. Also yeah. Really interesting. Uh, Rustin at 15, that makes sense. The Whale at 16, makes sense. Then we have Amsterdam. Triangle I mean, it makes sadness, sense, yeah. That's high. Triangle of Sadness is high. It's 18. Yeah. I, I think that makes sense, though, for it to be number 18. Yeah. 13 Lives is nope, yeah. I think, is too high. Nope is too high, yeah. 13 Lives is also a little low uh, than I would have, but, you know. Yeah. I think, I know, I don't think 13 Lives is happening. I just no, think it might not anymore. Yeah, uh, too many Tar, red flags, I think. Absolutely. Tar is really undervalued right now. Yeah, like, 100%. That could 100% get in the picture. Uh, white Noise is there, Decision to Leave, Next One Isn't Happening, Shirley, Greatest Beer on Ever, Blonde, Don't Read Darling, I'm a Dance with Somebody, The Batman. Okay, a lot of these make sense. There's Vinci's Administrator and Cha Cha. Yeah. I think a lot of these make sense. All, all these ones down here definitely aren't going to happen for picture no um ticket to paradise <laughs> did that really need to mention so empire of light not on here yeah which does make me think i don't know like maybe it's just not this year gold derby didn't even list it as an option no so, which is i don't imagine exactly i don't imagine that is them thinking the film is a complete just not contender i assume that means they probably don't think it will come out this year what's the killer on yeah. there did, did we see for no, david fincher not on there Okay. Killer is definitely not on there. Yeah. So maybe that's a similar sort of thing. Of yeah. 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 I. I. That's really weird. I mean, it, they're gold derby, so I don't want to read into this too much. But I know that's really weird. And the Woman King technically being top ten is also odd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this makes me a bit more confident about Till. That like that's actually a thing that people are recognizing because that could very easily get actors and supporting actors and screen like, yeah just it could those three done deal uh, and it's above things like rust in the way as well which are also sort of on the outskirts there but it feels above them screenplay noms yeah. yeah yeah so that's also possible elvis being that high is also fascinating we said that could get picture yeah because like, i mean we said like, like it's probably yeah warner bros is top priority i reckon like don't worry darling might be but i don't know i i feel that they may try and push elvis a little harder than don't worry darling it may be some yeah. of the Oscars are more likely to go for. So, yeah, that's interesting. Huh? 14, that's quite high. Definitely, definitely. Um, really, really interesting overall. I mean, or if you've plugged in Empire of Light into this top 10, though, I think it makes sense. I don't think there's anything else that's, like, that crazy that's missing. I mean, Top Gun being that high is yeah. kind of wild. But, like, maybe it just really does have that much support. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. And, like, yeah, it could be a thing. It really, really could be. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at director. Scorsese, number one. Okay. Okay. Interesting that Fablemans is number one for picture. Scorsese, number one here, but... And look at her top three. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Like, these are the of clear course. frontrunners currently. Of course, of course. Scorsese, Spielberg, Giselle. Sarah Polly, number four. I think yeah, I put her in. Yeah, I put her in. My predictions. So now, is the five, is it Inuritu? Is it, like, uh, Ostland? Is it Daniels? Yeah. Florian Zeller. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I would, yeah, I'd put Inuritu higher than Zella, but they're clearly having a lot of faith in the sun. Yeah, so, because, yeah, the sun was also their five for pictures, so there's our six and seven, Daniels and Inuritu. Yeah, which is, uh, yeah, fair. I think makes sense, like, I don't know, I think Daniels could get him, but, yeah, Florian Zeller is really interesting, like, Florian Zeller could just become an Academy darling, there's also, yeah. also the possibility. Like, so, I mean, he didn't get him for the father, so, you know, I guess mm -hmm. maybe they probably regret that a bit, and want to yeah. maybe well, honor think, him for this film. I think the father was a case of not enough people saw the movie because that, mm. like, you know, it, it didn't get those. But then once people saw, I mean, it won adapted. Exactly. And actor. So yeah. I just and it really that. shouldn't have won act. Like, Anthony Hopkins was deserving of the Oscar and he should have won. But, like, looking at it as a political thing and all of that kind of thing, the father like, should not have won that Oscar. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, from an awards perspective, like, yeah. you know, awards predicting. But, yeah. All right. Uh, what's their number eight? And uh, here's how high Ostland is. James Cameron's their eight. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm just, I just don't think Avatar is going to be a thing. I just don't think it's going to be a thing. Uh, Park no. Chan Wook is the nine. Okay. So they have Park Chan Wook above, uh, above Austin. That's, that's, that's curious. I mean, I did bring this up to you, Thomas. Like, you know, we say like, well, it's movie distributing, but like we said the same thing about Janus Films and Criterion distributing Drive My Car Left. So yeah. It just depends on if it gets the critics push. Yeah, if it gets the momentum, because that's what 
Drawing my card needed. Okay. Yeah. Maria Schrader, she said. Baz Lerman for Elvis at 12. Then Barry okay. Rubin Ostland yeah. at 13. John Ridley for Surly. Todd Field Tar. Will Thruston. That reads the Batman. So, not not that much to consider after that, like, top group um, of nine, I would say. I wouldn't even put, like, Chuck Wu yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, it does still show that Till has some level of support, though. Even, like, in a category, like, directing, that, that's quite big. I, uh, I, I, I did have Till in my picture lineup, so. Yeah. It's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. Park Chan Wook being that high is it's very curious. James Cameron being that high, but like I think that this is the clear top seven though. Like, yeah. Yeah, with Sam Mendes well, as well, obviously, being added in there yes. as well. But you know Of course, of course, Sam Mendes also. Um so yeah, I guess a clear top eight. So yeah. Um interesting. Yeah. Also very, very interesting. Uh alright. Let's look at, I don't know which acting category, but one of the acting categories. Oh, okay. Actress, they put Margot above okay. Michelle. Okay, so that's the order I have as well. Same. Margot yeah. Robbie first, Michelle your second. I, I flip-flop. I can't remember what I've had last. I think in the last video I had Margot, but it, I go back and forth. I think they're easily yeah. top two. Um, Michelle's definitely at least getting nommed. Then Kate Blanchett Tar. It's insane. I think this is going to happen. This is going yeah. to happen. Todd Field has gotten his actor six nominations i believe like yeah i've got a five in the minute i've got a five in the minute but maybe that does have to get pushed up yeah yeah obviously there's gonna be no olivia coleman on here and she's definitely no in. yeah yeah if no, if the film no. comes out this year and that kind of thing olivia coleman's it's obviously in, yeah it's what i said regina king regina yeah king for surely um and then i'm assuming the five will be danielle deadweiler no oh okay okay they have faith in the woman king clearly <laughs> i think this yes. will be a com yeah i it will be a flop i i don't imagine this I one will do very much Who's even direct? Oh, the one getting that's Gina Prince Bythewood's, right? Okay. Is directing? Yeah, that's Gina Prince Bythewood. I don't know. I guess if anything, this could be like a Harriet and just get actress. Maybe. Uh, like and like, so, the, I say that because I think that this could also have like a song nom attached to it. This feels like something that would have an original song. Yeah, it it could happen, but I ha ha currently probably have a like eight or nine probably. At yeah, I don't think she's in record. I think five is a little too high, yeah. So there's Danielle Deadweiler. So I think that... I don't know, I think Margot, Michelle, Kate, Regina, and Danielle plus Olivia Coleman are like our solid top six. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I think just, yeah, replacing Viola with Olivia. And this is like our top six. Um, there's Naomi Aki for I Want to Dance with Somebody. And okay. this is 100% something to consider because, I mean, it's it's an Anthony McCartan movie uh, written by Anthony McCartan. He gets his actors nominated. Yeah. <laughs> like... That's just what he does. Uh, so I mean, it's definitely possible. I mean, like look at look at some of his films, like Darkest Hour, got it for Oldman. The Two Popes, he got acting nominations for that. He did, yeah. I mean, The Theory of Everything, he got acting nominations for Bohemian Rhapsody, obviously. So like, he gets acting nominations. Uh, so same thing that we say about you know Todd Field, same thing we say about Inuritu. McCartan gets acting nominations. Uh, Naomi Aki could definitely happen. Actress is just a very stacked lineup because look who's next. Carrie yeah, Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan. Yeah. I definitely think she has a show as well. A very big possibility. Uh, then we got Anna de Armas for Blonde, which interesting to see her nine because she was number one at the front of last year's poll. Uh, yeah, Blonde was still like potentially coming out. But I guess the trailer shows that you know it might not be the thing the it's Oscars will go for. It's gonna be yeah, exactly. Thing. Kristen Stewart did still get nominated though. I'm just saying. I know she it was did. She did. Seventeen, but I don't yeah, know. Uh, I, I I think she's it. She should definitely still be in the top ten. Yeah, she's definitely still in a conversation, 100%. So there's Helen Mirren for Golda, the one where she has, like, the very intense prosthetic makeup. Yeah. I believe that's the one. Uh, Annette Benning for Nyad. Okay, this is interesting for this to be so high. So this is the uh, the biopic from the um, from the directors of Free Solo and uh, The Rescue. About oh, the yeah, okay. Crossing from, like, I think, Panama to Florida. In, like, yeah. I hadn't really okay. even considered that, but that's interesting that she's, like, this high, that there's this much faith. Yeah, I mean, it's right. a net banning, so it's a, it's a big name. But... Yeah, I didn't even know that this, that was coming out this year. No, uh, it was something completely off my radar as well, yeah. Because it's Annette Benning and Jodie Foster, Reese Iphons, recently uh, signed on as well. So, that's pretty strong cast, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's Florence Pugh for Don't Worry Darling, said I think that's screenplay only if that... Okay, so yeah, it's Florence, Florence Pugh's all getting in. I know, I agree. Frances McDormand, they have for lead, Women Talking, which she's supporting. Sally Hawkins, Lost King, so because then she said is also supporting. Just contesting Good Nurse. Okay, so like, I, now we get into stuff that probably isn't gonna happen. I mean, there's Margot for Amsterdam. Uh, but like, I think anything within this like top nine plus Olivia Coleman 
Is yeah, and uh, that's so a clear top ten, top ten. Yeah. Yep. Margot, Michelle, Kate, Regina, Viola. Well, not even Viola. Maybe Danielle, Naomi. I still think Viola Davis is in the top ten. I still think yeah, she's, she's in Viola the top ten. Davis. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Davis, yeah. And then Olivia Coleman to round it out. Uh, because I don't think anything else here is happening. Search running for foe. Was that the, the alcoholism one? <laughs> That could have been, yeah, maybe. Um, uh, no, that's a, oh, that's a, oh, that's the sci-fi movie by, uh, Garth Davis, uh, Don't with, like, recall. Paul Mescal. Uh, okay. Garth Davis is, uh, he did Lion, is, like, his thing. Oh, movie. okay, okay. So, yeah, um, Taylor Russell, Florence Pugh and the Wonder, yeah, not much else here. Uh, alright, best actor, we have Hugh Jackman, and then Austin yeah. Butler. Austin Butler, number two. That's quite big, yeah. I mean, yeah, as I said with everything, we were all at once being high. Like, Elf has come out. The, the other sorts of films, they haven't. Still, I still do think, yeah. I, 100%, I think he's in, but I, I wouldn't place him number two. I, I wouldn't go that far. I agree. This is this is making me feel justified in my Hugh Jackman pick, though. Yeah, if he's, yeah, one. if he's this high. He's fully could be, number could one. Be him. Um, gonna get that EGOT. Okay, cool. There's Colin Domingo. Yeah, that's my choice yep. currently. Yep, my, uh, my number two. That, I think this is definitely the top three, though. Like, 100%. Yeah, for me. yeah. Uh, okay, so they have DiCaprio, and so I'm assuming it's gonna be then Brendan Fraser, and they're leaving, uh, Cacho out. Yeah, uh, I, I had DiCaprio, and so... I have yeah. DiCaprio getting snubbed, and Cacho okay. getting in, because I'm, I'm being okay. very stubborn about Cacho getting in, just because of the Inurizu stat. Um, same reason why I'm gonna be very stubborn about Kate Blanchett getting in. Yeah. So, uh, but... I, I guess I'm less stubborn about Naomi Aki just because the movie looks bad, but Bohemian Raps 2 is bad, so I don't know. Um, I guess, okay, side note, I guess I just don't like Anthony McCartan because I hated Theory of Everything, I hated Bohemian Rhapsody, I hated Darkest Hour. Yeah. Um, I guess I just don't like him. I, I, no. I know you feel similarly. Yeah, I don't like any of those films, really, that you just mentioned, okay. though, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, five, yep, they have Brendan Fraser. They have Brendan Fraser, yeah, cool. Makes sense. Whoa. What's what the pale this? blue eyes? What is this? Yeah, currently. If it was that for Amsterdam, I would, I'd, I'd disagree, but I, I'd get it. The pale blue eyes. It's a upcoming American thriller film directed by Scott Cooper, based on the novel of the same name. There's like nobody else in this cast. Who's Scott Cooper? Uh, oh, he did Crazy Heart in 2009, which got him like an indie spirit award for first feature. Oh, he did okay. Antlers last year. Okay, I think this is a horror movie. Okay. He did Antlers with a Antlers was like the um yeah that was that horror film. Uh, with like Jesse Plemons last year. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, do you think he's been mislabeled here and they meant Christian Bale in Amsterdam? Maybe. That could be. Because that would make a lot more sense. Because, yeah, this is a. The Pale Blue Eyes is a horror film. Maybe people just yeah. think Christian Bale. And assume it was uh, Amsterdam. That could be a thing. That could be a thing. So, okay, so the plot in 1830, veteran detective Augustus Landor investigates a series of murders at the United States Military Academy in West Point. He is aided by Edgar Allan Poe, a young kid uh, at the Academy. This seems really like just a goofy horror movie. Yeah. Um, I think people just saw Kristen Bale and, and it put him in, assuming it was for Amsterdam. Oh, yeah, that would make the, that would make the most sense. Here. Yeah. But I don't think this is going to be a thing. It's going to be no. nowhere near the top of Netflix's priorities. No, no. Um, Brad Pitt in Babylon, so he's supporting confirmed. Yeah. We don't even have to worry about that. So there's Kacho. Okay, so Kacho is technically our six here. Because... Yes, yeah, because those two. I mean, unless Bale is counted for Amsterdam, I could see yeah. him being in that position. So, yeah, six or seven, though, at this point. Yeah, yeah, definitely think it could happen. So there's Bale for okay. Amsterdam. Okay, wow. Oh, so Bale is somewhere around here. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, look, if you look at the one for Pale Eyes, it's what? 11 nominations, zero wins. Yeah. The other yeah. one's Chris Mellon, the 71, four wins. That... That should be high, surely. So I think, I think, well, it's Gold Derby has, like, this algorithm, because it's also people rank these when they put them in. Okay. Like, ranked one to five. So I'm just right. going to put a couple of people just put, like, people would have had to have put Bale for Pale Blue Eyes at, like, number one. And I'm assuming yeah. that they just meant Amsterdam. So I would say Bale and Amsterdam and Kacho are, like, the six and seven, according to this poll. Somewhere around yeah. six and seven. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, then is Song King Ho for Broker, which... Could happen. I guess. Could. I yeah. guess. That seems a bit high, but yeah. Okay, so there's, well, I mean, it's a child actor. Jill Hall and Till. So it's going to be... Yeah, it's not, like, not going to happen, I don't think. Daniel Kaluuya for Nope's not going to happen. Adam Driver yeah. for White Noise. Hard to imagine. Fastbender for Next Goal and Seer. Bill Nye for a Living is going to get a BAFTA nomination, but that's it. After this, yeah, Colin Farrell, Tom Cruise, Cooper Rafe. Yeah. So this is going to happen. So, like, we really just have to consider, I feel, Hugh Jackman, Austin Butler, Coleman Domingo, DiCaprio, Fraser, Bale and Amsterdam, Bale. Yeah. Pacho, 
and then I guess Song Kang Ho is at eight. Yeah. Interestingly, no Diego Calva from Babylon. Like, I don't expect him to get in, but I, I'd still I'm expect assuming, him to be okay, I'm assuming a little that, higher. Since they had Brad Pitt in lead, they put... Uh, oh, that might be true. Calva yeah, he's in supporting. Three. Yeah. Yeah, which I don't think is true. I think we're like, we know that Calva is the lead and yeah, everybody yeah. else is. Uh, or, and then Calva and Robbie are lead and then everybody else is supporting. Yeah. Someone put Idris Elba in for 3,000 years of longing. <laughs> One person. Uh, yeah. All right. Supporting actress. There, there, there are our top two. Yeah. Okay, so that's, Michelle Williams, slightly higher. That's my order currently. Michelle Williams one, Lily Gladstone two. That is my current yeah. order. Yeah, I, I have Lily Gladstone in right now, but I mean, it's obviously, I think, like, I feel pretty confident in saying one of these two are going to win. Yeah, yeah. Number three, Vanessa Kirby for this one. Okay, that's really high. Okay, that yeah. Makes me, that makes me at least confident that it's going to be her and not Laura Dern. I put her in, yeah. That is one That is one I chose over Laura Dern, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a little high, though. It's a little high. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, so there's definitely confidence. Whoa! Wow, that is high. Whoa! That's way higher than I was expecting. Okay, maybe, wow. maybe. I Are mean... people, like, that con Like, is that... She is a major driving force behind the film. So, like... I mean, I would I love guess... to see it. I think she's yeah. so deserving. Yeah. Are people really I guess maybe, like, confident? why wouldn't she be bought alongside everything, every all at once as a film in general? Like, why would she be... Yeah. Left out. I don't know. It's it's an interesting choice. I wouldn't have her in currently. That's wild. But she's definitely around six or seven. Probably six. Yeah. I mean, I would love to see it happen. I could definitely see people rallying behind it. Yeah. Uh, like in a similar way to that people rallied behind like Troy Kotzer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think she'll win though. So. No, I don't think she'll win. No. Though, like at least to get the nomination. That's yeah. That's crazy that she's that high. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Otter McDonald for Rustin that high, and then Laura Dern. Wait. So where's the whale? Where's the? Well, where's Jesse Rustin? Buckley? Where is yeah, Jesse where's Buckley? Jesse Buckley. Where's Jesse Buckley and where's the whale? Because yeah. Where's yeah. Otter yeah. Audra McDonald being that high is kind of insane. I mean, I have a fairly high. I think if Rustin is going to get in, it's going to need screenplay actor and sporting actress. So similar guess, to yeah. King Richard minus the yeah. editing that King Richard got. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then Laura Dern for The Sun. So both actresses in The Sun over anybody from The Whale. Um, also important okay. to remember that Zoe Kazan won't be here because they listed her. Yeah, name. yeah. Uh, but yeah, also uh, with no Whoopi Goldberg yet, which I thought could maybe happen for Till. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know about that one, but yeah, interesting because you've got the sun and the whale both have okay. two, and the there sun is. is seems to have pulled it over, um, the whale. But yeah. So there's there's Buckley. That's Interestingly, Buckley. the woman talking actor actors and actresses have not been very high. Well, that's interesting. I I believe from what I I've heard and know everybody's going to be campaigned and supporting. So Francis McDonald okay. being put in lead is, is false and there's no leading males. Okay. So, but yeah, like Jesse Buckley's low. seven, that feels low. That feels low. It really does. I, I, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm just more confident in this movie than anybody else, but like... I mean, I've got Jesse Buckley in three, just behind Lily Gadsden and Michelle Williams. Like, but, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm fine. I'm honestly fine with this as like a top three with uh, Williams, Gladstone, and Kirby. I also had Buckley at three. So maybe Kirby's the three, but I think at least then Buckley's four, and then we yeah. get one of the others, Stephanie Sue. I mean, I had Whoopi Goldberg in. Uh, yeah, Zoe Kazan, Kazan still is Zoe around. Kazan as well, yeah. Uh, so there's Sadie Sink for the whale. There's Sadie Sink, okay. Over so, Hong Chao. So, uh, yeah, Sadie Sink being placed higher than Hong Chao. Dean Smart for Babylon isn't happening. Nah, yeah, not happening anymore. It's not a thing. Hantu, who is that? Yeah, I, I don't think any of these after this are really anything, to be honest. Yeah, but... I hope for people like Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Whoopi Goldberg and Hong Jia, that's, that's interesting. I guess yeah. people are really confident in this film. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, okay. there's Whoopi yeah. Goldberg for Till. I think, I think she makes more sense. Hey, I mean, she has more nominations and win votes than yeah. both of them. Uh, and she should be above Jean Smart. Yeah, just uh, other women talking, Tar, yeah, none of these. No. So there's Hong Chao. But uh, yeah, no, I don't think anything passed here. Like there's Amazon yeah. Amblon, yeah. So I think we no Taylor Swift to be seen. No Taylor Swift. Wait, is she is she actually anywhere on here? Olivia Young, Elvis. I don't I don't think she's any. Olivia no. Wilde in Babylon. Okay. Uh, um, Michelle Yeoh's in Avatar. Okay. Hong Chow's in three times. Yep. No Taylor Swift at all. No. No Taylor um, Swift. Yeah. Elizabeth Moss next going Samantha Morton for she said we talked about. Okay, this one I want to actually talk about this. Griselda Siciliani could have him for Bardo. Keep an eye out. Okay. Three, yeah. He gets actors nom. But no, I think definitely. Yeah. Okay. We can look at this top eight though. 
Williams, Gladstone, Kirby, Stephanie Sue, Audrey McDonald, Laura Dern, Jesse Buckley, and Sadie Sink. And then I personally would probably throw like Whoopi Goldberg in there, and then you have Zoe Kazan get top ten. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. I mean, I I'm not that. I don't think Whoopi Goldberg will be a thing, but I I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this top eight. Yeah, no, I I think I think that makes sense. And Sadie Sink definitely is the one. Yeah. At that point, yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I'd be curious to see where Zoe Kazan would place if she was there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Francis McDormand. But okay, let's go to supporting actor now. Paul Dano won. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think he's fairly high. I did snub him personally, but it was definitely a snub. Like, he is still a very, very strong contender. Yeah, no, I also have him snubbed just because I think Seth Rogen makes more sense. Yeah. But, uh... Like, yeah, I feel like it would be the Belfast thing where the more yeah. interesting characters, quote-unquote, obviously, because yeah. interest is subjective, but get get the norms. Whereas, like, Jamie Dornan, not as interesting character, maybe had a bit more to do, get snubbed. So I, I can see that happening here with Paul Dano and Seth Rogen. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. uh next we have Jesse Plemons and Glenn Turman. Glenn Turman. It's an interesting choice. Maybe Rustin's getting. Could Rustin get three acting noms? If he gets three acting noms, and we know the screenplay is done by someone who's already won a screenplay award for the yeah, Oscars. The milk, the milk, the milk the guy, milk yeah. Theater, yeah. Dustin Lance Black, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's big. It could be big. Because Glenn Turman reuniting with George C. Wolf. Uh, in my rainies. Yeah. Uh, wow. It's interesting. That is interesting. That oh, we saw a discourse over Jesse Plemons. Obviously, he's a contender, yeah, we, we though. That's, one. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. We number one. So, yeah. Uh, and Brad Pitt would obviously be somewhere in here since they had him at, like, number six for best actor and he's definitely yeah. supporting. So, yeah. Be curious to see where Calva shows up. There he is. Okay, okay there he is, yeah. I don't think he's winning, but I think he's definitely there. I think yeah. he's definitely getting the nomination. Yeah. It's just a great story behind him, so, yeah. yeah. There's the Nero. Okay. I, I wouldn't personally have him in, but I can definitely see the case being made for him to get in. So where's where's Rogan, though? Mom the phone poor thinks that's not happening. It's pushed. Um, Whoa. Ralph, what, what, Whoa. What, 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 that's what? high. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Fiennes, Ray Fiennes, okay. For the menu? It's interesting. What? I, it's not happening, it, it's not a thing, but... It's not I guess, a thing, but what? Yeah, I mean, I like Ray Fiennes. I, I, I'd I, like the look of him in this film, so... <laughs> I mean, maybe. But I, I doubt it, I think... Yeah, there are better there are better people who will be more likely to get this nom. That's really That's high, weird. though. That is high. If he couldn't even get nominated for Grand Budapest Hotel... It's not happening no. for the menu. No. Sorry to break it to you. Um, yeah. That's w insanely high. Especially where you, when you still have people like, I mean, Seth Rogen and Ben Wishaw still on the board. Oh, yeah, Ben Wishaw. Exactly. I'm telling you, they're not really liking the women talking actors. Oh, there he is, speaking of. Him, yeah, at number but eight. it's quite low. I mean, it's technically seven because he'd be above the yeah. show. Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's... I don't know. Maybe I'm just too confident in it, but, like... But, I mean, Sarah Poli was in. It was in for the film, so... Like, I don't know why. Picture and director. Yeah. Maybe they're just thinking it's, like, picture, director, screenplay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I mean, like, that That would be the licorice pizza package. Picture, yeah. director, screenplay. It could be that. It could be that. Uh, that's weird, though. That's really weird. There's... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I sort of expected him to appear somewhere fairly yeah. high. You know, as much as he's like, not deserving of it, I sort of expected that. Yeah. Tell me why you're about okay. money. Okay. We actually have to consider this because he's playing Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. And he's Toby Maguire. People and just Toby love Maguire. Toby Maguire. It could happen. It could. I but I don't... I think that's something where he's not in my yeah. five, but we're undervaluing him. Like, yeah. I think I think that you can... I mean, obviously, Willem Dafoe's not happening. You can discount Ray Fiennes. I think you could slot Ben Wishaw in at least above De Niro. Yeah. Like, I also definitely think if Brad Pitt was among this lineup... He'd probably still, he'd still vote away from Tobey Maguire and Babylon, I reckon. Yeah, I agree, I agree. So, so yeah. Where's Diego Calva? I don't know, maybe they're just not thinking it happens at all. Okay, there's Seth Rogen. There's Seth there's Rogen. Seth Rogen. I think he's, I mean, I have him in, so. Yeah, exactly. He's a lot higher than that. Uh, Frankie Faze and Till, maybe, maybe. He maybe. Won a, a goth if Till hits big, if Till hits big, he could come along yeah. with it. Woody and Triangle Sadness, I guess. I, yeah, I don't see that. Because now we're, now we're into the point where, like, none of these Hopkins and Armageddon time. None no. of these are going to happen. Where's Calva, though? There's Russell yeah. Crowe, Greatest Bureau, Never. That could actually happen. Yeah. I mean, all the 13 lights on it is interesting. are all supporting, so maybe that's yeah, a they have them all listed thing to consider. Yeah. Just Diego Calva, nowhere to be found. That's kind no. of insane. 
But no, I think the cutoff here is Seth Rogen. I think you can look at yeah, yeah. Seth Rogen and higher uh, as the things that should be considered. Ray Fine to be number yeah, two. Yeah, I know. Blows my mind. Yeah, really, that is. Really and Glenn Terman as well. Glenn Terman being it's, three. Maybe yeah. that's like just a real thing that we have to consider and start putting in. Yeah, him, Audrey McDonald, and Coleman Domingo. Yeah, it could be a trifecta. They could get all three in. Because I was, I was struggling with what to put, like how to justify Rustin in picture, but I guess, yeah, supporting actor and actress. Yeah, because so I had it in at one point, Rustin, for picture, and then I sort of dropped out, and then a couple of Same. other of their nominations got dropped out with it. So I had Audrey McDonald in at one point. I had it in for original screenplay. I think the only thing I had it in for the end was Coleman Domingo as actor, which I still think is very, Agreed. very strong, but... Yeah, maybe maybe it is. If it is a thing, these sorts of rewards do come with it. Also, uh, somebody brought this up to me. Makeup and hair for Rustin is a possibility to go along with okay. Domingo as like the biopic makeup. Because like we talked about that, like the biopic makeup, like the makeup winner in the past five years has been a biopic. Yeah, yeah, so, it could be, could be. Also possible. But, all right, let's uh, let's move on. Oh, look, there's David Lynch in the Fablemans. Just quick okay. Up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, now we're into the, the two screenplay categories, and we have here's our adapted lineup: Killers, The Sun, okay. Talking, she said in White Noise. So the same four as they, I thought it's the clear top four at this moment. Yeah. yeah, it's an obvious top four. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a shallow category. I don't even have a number five listed on my uh, Google Doc right now. Like, I think these are the obvious top four. I have, I have it in the order of Women Talking, The Sun, Killers. She said. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, obvious top four. White noise. I mean, with so many things being pushed away, will next goal win still be on this? Because <laughs> if if it is, yeah. that suggests that white noise is very strong because that's beating out things like poor things and well, um, to consider so next people, goal wins. Like people are aware that those were pushed and it's just yeah. Like so people would okay. put them in. Like yeah. But no, I mean yeah, poor things and next goal wins are on here. So, uh, yeah, White but, Noise, that just feels way too high. Like, I know it's no Bombuck, but, like, I, do you know yeah. what this movie's about, guys? Like, it's it's not going to be an Oscars thing. I mean, but as we've talked about before, screenplay categories are the categories that don't mind going for something a bit weirder, a bit more out there. And so that's I can see fair. maybe a film like White Noise being a lone screenplay nominee. That's actually really fair. That's a good point. There's The Whale at number six. Yeah, I, I don't think The Whale is going to happen. I really don't. Yeah, agreed. Till. Is Till adapted? Happened. I believe it's off of a novel. Oh, okay. I'll okay. That. I'll put that as my number five then for next I, I think I next just time. found that out like a couple of days ago. But I'm I assumed sure. it was original. Yeah, I assumed it was original. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's... I, well, I, Wikipedia says it's original. Well, yeah, because I know King Richard last year, there was a lot of confusion as to whether it was original, adapted, yeah. and it kept changing back and forth, whatever. So, yeah. I mean, it is hard to judge sometimes whether it is original or adapted. I don't see anything, yeah, no, I don't see anything that says Till is adapted. I thought I read okay. somewhere that it was based off of a novel. I mean, it could well be, it could well be, but, yeah. And if it is, I would put it fairly high, because, yeah. as you mentioned, a lot of stuff has been pushed. Um, and this category is very weak. We've got the top four, yeah. we're just really looking for that number five at the moment. Because I, I, I think it's original, though. I do think it's original. Okay, it's yeah. adapted, though, it's high. Uh, 13 Lives... Mm, no, not a screenplay thing, I don't think. No, there's next goal wins and poor things. Yeah, yeah, but as you see. So not happening. I want to dance with somebody. I mean, Bohemian Rhapsody didn't get screenplay. So no, no. Out. Greatest beer on ever. I mean, we have to consider it as a possibility, yeah. Yeah, and then you start getting into things where that are going to happen. Where is Knives Out? It's not even listed as an option to vote for. No, exactly. I'm telling you, Knives Out is not going to be something the Oscars will go for. As I, I said know, before, like, oh, okay. sequel. It should, at, it should at least be no. on here. It should at least be on here. I mean, it should be on here. As an option. Probably. Yeah. It should be on but, here as an option to vote for. I mean, it's in the top 30, but uh, it's not. It's not going to happen. But, like, yeah, saying, like, you know, Till, I'm pretty sure, is original, though I can't find any evidence otherwise. Again, I thought I read somewhere on, like, Twitter, but, like, that's on Twitter, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, 13 Lives it just isn't going to happen. I think there's also a debate over whether that's adapted or original as well. This is going to poor things, just not going to happen. Nothing below here is going to happen. So, like, we really are just looking at the six. The six, yeah. And since I really don't think the whale will get in, maybe it is white noise. Maybe it is. Maybe it just is white noise, but this is easily our six. Yeah. I might just add the whale in because I'm, like, kind of skeptical of, uh, of white noise, but... I don't see anything else that can sneak in, except I guess maybe Greatest Beer on Ever. Yeah, but I don't think that'll be good, so I, don't, I think yeah, that'll be agreed. left off. So, easily just a six here. Easily just a six. Yeah, yeah. Alright, and then our last category of the day, Original Screenplay. 
What is no Whoa, doing? No. What is no wow. doing? Oh my Bro, god. With a category this stacked and you're putting Whoa. Okay, okay. I mean guess out one. Guess out one. It's not happening, man. And like I guess okay, take off Empire of Light. Like it's higher up there than you might expect, but I know like there's better things. There's rust in there's there's a whole host of things that are better than mm -hmm. more more strong than no. <laughs> yeah. I mean the top the top four are fairly I I I'd have all those four in. I no, I, I have all those four and everything ever all at once being higher than Babylon is especially fascinating. I have it winning currently, so um, I, like, I, as do I, but just yeah. like Gold Derby since they didn't have everything everywhere in director and they had for picture it below all of the top three. Like yeah. that that just that that just reassures me that I think everything everywhere uh is gonna win screenplay. There are two people predicting Nope will win. That is that is something. That is something maybe to consider. Like, as I said, get out oh, one. No, get out one. No, it's not. No, don't let Gold Derby. Don't let Gold Derby do no, this no, to you. No, no, no. No, I won't. I know nope, it's not getting in. No, it's not getting in. Nope's not going to happen. No, like, no. Right, and I guess right. we, we won't. We will, we will know fairly soon. It's coming out, what, two weeks' time? We'll know two fairly weeks, soon. Two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I just can't imagine. Like maybe it's a, it's a rogue choice. choice. It's a rogue pick. Maybe it's a rogue pick. Choice, go for it. But yeah, I don't know. Like I, I agree with this this top four. I had Triangle of Sadness in as my five. Yeah. Uh, as like a potential lone screenplay nom. Uh, I had in as well. I had in as well. Uh, and then there's Empire of Light because you left Bardo yeah. off, right? I did leave Bardo off, but like it's a clear number six. It is a clear yeah. number six. I have in. And I think it could definitely happen. Yeah. So, okay. And I'd say it's it's else. stronger. It is stronger than tri Triangle of Sadness. So I know. agree. Triangle of Sadness yeah. is more of like a rogue pick for us. Exactly. We exactly. Didn't, we didn't go as rogue as Nope. No, like, exactly. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see what else they put Nope above. So there's Triangle of Sadness. Okay. Next. So we're not that rogue then. Not that rogue. Because if you take no, off Nope, okay. it's it's in. And like yeah. without yeah, Empire of Light there. Yeah. 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 With Empire of Light, like as in as an option like the, i think that just replace nope with empire of light and this is your top six so yeah that makes me that make, makes me feel very justified about my uh my confidence in yeah Triangle yeah sadness and original 100%. um so there's rustin. okay there's rustin i about. mentioned rustin yeah yep definitely there there's tar tar as well yeah we will no. need to see okay oh. it's it's there's a bit high bit high there's cha cha Hey, you, yeah. uh, listen, you, <laughs> you, you, you said Kodo, we wouldn't even be talking. I said Kodo. I think Char Char Rules Move is a different thing. I really do. Me too. Me too, to be yeah. fair. But yeah. I mean, taking out, nope, this is eight. So, <laughs> uh, there's Amsterdam, which I don't think they're going to nominate David Russell. Or we going to nominate Banshee 7 Edition. So, like, past year, it's not going to be a thing. Don't no. worry, Darlene. I've said could That's, be a potential. Lawyer. It's low, it's but yeah. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Interestingly, else. decision to leave has been above broker in I think every category. So it has maybe yeah. suggests maybe that'll be career's choice. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I guess. I guess. But like, I I think that this is an easy top. Well, replacing Nope with Empire of Light. This is your top eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think like Nope's Nope's probably in the top twenty. Like well, it's, it's still. Okay. It's in the it, top it is. It's in the top, top twenty. 20. I thought, I thought no. 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 Top no. 10. No, 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 no. Top 20, yes. Top 20, yes. Yeah. I, I think that makes sense. Like, it's still on the... Let's say it's on the outskirts of being in the conversation. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll leave it there. Uh, and again, I guess we'll see when we when we watch the movie. But that just yeah. blows my mind that it's they haven't getting it's, nominated. It's, that's odd. That is... That's that's big. It's big. Who has that's Nope? Really Which studio? Do you know? Uh, that's... Mm, who does have Nope? I don't think it's Focus, is it? Um... Uh, I don't know. Get out. Oh, it's it's Universal. Okay. And um, what yeah. What does Universal have? They have uh, the Fablemans and she said. Okay. Okay. So it's not so going to be their highest priority, priority. Then. Yeah, yeah, unless it's, it's... yeah no because it won't be higher than she said. It won't be higher than that. So yeah, it would be their third priority. But wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I pro this is probably as I say, this will just be coasting off the fact Jordan Peele won for Get Out, but I don't think it'll, it, this won't happen again. Yeah. It was a one-time thing for Jordan Peele. Maybe people are just excited about this movie, like it literally just won the HCA for most interesting films. Yeah, film. there's there's quite a little buzz around it currently. Yeah, I, I, I agree. People are just excited, but like, that's insane, man. That is, yeah. Nope to win. Wow. All right, well, that's Gold Derby, everybody. Yeah, uh, We'll yeah. definitely be keeping an eye on this throughout uh, throughout all of award season. Uh, 100%. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the most consistent tools to uh, help predict best picture that was the gold derby polls very that interesting, was interesting. Uh, yeah. we'll have uh we'll have updated oscars predictions probably sometime in august um 
uh, probably the end of August because Fall Festival start in September. We're only yeah. two months away from Fall Fest. Yeah, so. and then it's really beginning. And then we're really into it, but yeah. I mean, so. it's begun for us, what, April last year, so, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> we, we, started, we started as soon as the last Oscars end. Uh, but, yeah, so we'll, we'll be updating our predictions. We'll keep an eye on Gold Derby. Updated predictions coming probably at the end of August, pre-Fall Festivals. We'll be uh, reacting, talking about all of the Fall Festival announcements. All of the things, yeah. Uh, it'll be very, very exciting, but... Until next time, thank you everybody for watching. You can find us, all of the playlists we are elsewhere, Letterbox, Twitter, YouTube, etc. In the description down below, Thomas yeah. is the very cringy point thing. And then... Uh, <laughs> Someone has to do it. Someone has to do it. <laughs> We're just, like, yeah, legally, legally according to YouTube. Yeah. Um, but until next time, stay safe, everybody, and goodbye.